conflict, you need suspense, and I think you need humor. I think the, the, for me, those are the three pillars. The humor relieves the conflict, and hopefully the, you know, uh, the conflict will make you think, you know, and the suspense will give you the emotional reason to lean forward, you know, into the story. I feel like that's the kind of question you want to answer with, you know, I'm still writing it, you know, it's, it's my life and, and uh, you know, I hope to keep on building on it. Uh, I, think, I think there's lots of little stories that I've loved to watch. The television I grew up with when you had Roseanne and Family Ties and I was a bit of a junkie, I could even find the very special Alf, you know, if, you, if I was pressed. <laughs> Well, one, of the, one of the great things about Grace and Frankie, I mean, it, let's face it, it's, it's friends for, for uh, septuagenarians. You know, Martin and Howard, who, who, who run the room and created the show, you know, I know it's important to them. They, have a, they review all the episodes at the, uh, uh, at the beginning of their writing season. They review the, the previous season. And they, the question they ask is, is it satisfying? You know, what, was, that, was that season satisfying? I would, might be putting words in their mouth, but I think the question is really, did we move the ball? Did we, did we do what we set out to do? Did, we, did our characters grow in any way? You know, um, the episode that I directed last season was a really uh, beautiful entanglement of how complicated relationships can be. You know, and to do that and still have the show be funny and resonant and meaningful is, is a little bit of a, of a high wire act. Going back to the greatest story, I, I'm, I'm always surprised by people who are so willing to have these absolutes about people being cut off and what's, you know, what they absolutely won't do, who they absolutely won't talk to anymore because, you know, your life is more complicated than that, you know. You have exes and cousins and crazy people you know that have been in and out of your life and and without that you can't be where you are you know it's something that's interesting to me and something I, I like to write about